Hey guys and welcome back to my channel with Sugar Maggie Mayhem and I am back with another video. You guys have been loving the vlogs lately so I'm going to keep on coming because y'all keep racking in them views so let's keep going. So in today's video I am bringing you guys a day in the life with me. I hope you guys enjoy it and yeah. I have a few events to go to today. Hopefully we make it. I woke up pretty late today. It is literally 1.40 and I'm literally starting my day. I feel like it's going to be a very, very good day. So if you guys didn't know, I started Invisalign and so I'm basically trying to straighten out my teeth and I'm just doing it with impress. Can I just say, Invisalign tracks smell. Y'all, if I'm talking to anybody and my breath is smelling, I do brush my tracks, but clearly that ain't doing enough. If you guys do not know guys, I have aligners now. But wait, why did nobody tell me that these aligners smell? Like, yo, like when I'm taking out my aligners every single day, I am hit by a whiff and I'm like, I brush my teeth all the time. Like, people that are born with straight teeth, you better thank God and your mama because you're lucky. On a usual day, I actually bark if I go to the gym. If I'm running late, I usually just freshen up and after that, I make my way to the gym. Is it just me? But I actually have to coordinate when I'm going to the gym. Like, I want to make sure I look cute. I'm ready to go to the gym black and white, my white shoes, my white knees that I'm gonna quickly cream. Going to the gym guys has honestly, honestly changed my life. Not because I've dropped mad weight. However, like I feel like I now have a routine in life and a routine is something I've always prayed for. Glad that God has given me the discipline to have a routine. I feel like once you have a routine, like your goals become way more achievable because you can plan out your day strategically. Um, I don't know, people are always asking me, Maggie, what advice can I give you to develop a routine and have discipline? So guys, I'm not going to spend that much time on gym today because as I said, I have a lot to do. So I'm going to do um, a bit of cardio, a bit of ab workout and go. No longer than 30 minutes. Can I say one thing, y'all? I've stopped killing myself in the gym and the reason why is because I've stopped making the gym a weight loss thing more than I've made it now a lifestyle thing so it's like I'm gonna lose weight if I keep doing this consistently for six years regardless you get what I mean so I've stopped going to the gym to kill myself even I'm not gonna lie I feel like I still do kill myself every other day like I've been in the gym sometimes I'm trying out weird workouts and it's like Maggie it's really okay like you're not that girl relax like people that are looking at you right now are very much scared but I'm gonna still do it anyway because that's just me Like, do you see what I'm talking about? Like, Maggie, what are you doing right now? You is embarrassing yourself. I'm them girls, guys, that forgets to eat. Like, it can be 7 p.m. and I forget to eat. But obviously, this whole routine of self of mine, I'm trying to get in the habit. But tell me why it's 3 p.m. and Maggie, you haven't got your breakfast stuff yet. So literally, I decided that, okay, Maggie, it's time to actually go get the stuff. Can I just say, inflation is not my portion. <laughs> inflation is not my portion. Why is it three bananas and a pack of grapes was four pound ninety five? When I come home from the gym, I enjoy taking a nice long shower because I have highly sensitive skin, so I break out a lot when I work out. After showering, it's also important that I come and do my skincare, moisturize the lips, and I never really used to be a skincare babe until Eva actually got me into it. And I feel like, ciao. If you ain't on the skincare wave, you better jump on it. I'm learning now while I'm still basically in my younger years to become a better version of myself. I feel like a lot of us wait for that to happen before we start making some good choices please don't watch my eyebrows i haven't had time to do them i am going away soon when i'm traveling i like to make sure like things like my wax and stuff are done closer to the holiday so right now i'm just contained in all places okay sometimes when i'm watching my videos back it's like maggie you talk a lot like sometimes just shh anyways after i come out the shower the next thing a girl gotta do is dress up i'm not them type of babes that walks around the house naked i think maybe because like i've grown up with a brother like in my room i still don't feel comfortable like dressing up naked so i literally make sure i'm put i'm putting on my underwear and my bra and 
we'll get going. I'm running extremely late, it's four o'clock. At this point, a lot of time had gone. The event I was actually supposed to go to, so I was supposed to go to an Adidas event and a benefit event. I missed the Adidas event. I don't understand, like the video was supposed to be a day in a life. It turned into a morning routine, it turned into a gym routine, it turned into a skincare routine, it turned into a triangle. Like I was trying to do everything at once and this is what I'm talking about. Like, sometimes like routine helps you have balance and I didn't really like schedule this well into my routine. The... I actually wanted to make it for my drop in for four but it's fine. Hey guys, so I am now ready to go out. I haven't done my lips yet, so I hope you guys don't look at that too much. Um, so this is my fit, just to show you guys. I got my jacket, my heels, my gold jewelry, cause I feel like black goes really nice with gold. I really, really wanted to wear a hat, but everyone told me not to wear the hat. So we're going with no hat. So to dress up, my fit we are going to be using my ted blake bag so this is the bag i got from ted blake new york it is a luxury brand it's made in italy as you guys can see it comes in this sachet black with some gold literally just to match my jewelry and this is today's fit. Can I just say, I am in my grown woman era. I am in my sexy and saved, single and striving, saved and snatched era. Like, like I'm in a S era right now. Like, it's not about W's. I mean, I'm gonna still take W's anyways, but I'm not on the L's no more. I'm on the S's. Like, I'm single and striving. I am sexy and saved. I am saved and snatched like chow like i am giving grown like y'all let's get into the fit like quit playing with me quit playing with the kid y'all stop playing with me did y'all see my instagram pictures though like if you guys haven't seen my instagram pictures make sure you guys go show some love and yeah my instagram and the pictures will be right here on the screen can i just say the amount of work that goes into these vlogs y'all better like comment share subscribe and have you on the share I am running late, my hair's on straight end, I haven't eaten like, you remember how I bought my breakfast stuff? It's 6 o'clock and I'm going to eat my breakfast now. When we say like, comment, share and subscribe, it means like, comment, share and subscribe. I didn't stutter. If you're still watching this video and you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Again, it takes a lot of effort to get these videos done. Like even right now, it's my sister's birthday and I've made sure that I just come to film this part before I run. And I'm gonna be 12 minutes late just to get this all done for you guys. My life depends on it. Oh, so yeah. Let's go. Ooh. Guys, look who I'm with. Okay. So guys, I am with Kende. And we're in Pandora. I'm looking for a ring. So guys, we're gonna test out our ring sizes. I don't know my size. I know I'm an L in an engagement ring, but I don't know what size I am. That's my perfect. You. That is so nice. See, I want something like this. This Ooh. fits me. So what number is that? I don't know. So. Oh, but I don't want it on my fingy finger, you know. Which is the engagement? Yeah. Oh no. Okay. So this is how it looks on me and Candy's fingers. Really cute. Fits perfectly. But we're gonna try the oval design. Yeah. This is really still pretty. Like if you're wearing like silver jewelry, this is really nice. Can we try the oval? I really, really like this. Love it. This moment was so wholesome for me because I feel like a lot of women, we chase a ring. Like a lot of women actually don't even want to be married. They want the wedding and the ring. So I me being able to just go and devote this moment to myself was just so wholesome for me. But I also want to shout my little sister, Kirsty. You guys can go check out her TikTok because she literally inspired me to do this. As a big sister, first of all, like it's beautiful to see when your little sisters that look up to you 
are literally making all these commitments to themselves and like when i saw her do it i, I literally sat down and i was like you know what like i love this for you and i wish when i was your age i did this for myself but i wanted to surprise kenny with a ring as well so i told kenny come meet me at pandora because i wanted to surprise her with a ring as well and I literally said, you know what, like, I need to commit this to myself. I feel like over the past few months, I've grown in every aspect of my life. I don't think you guys will even ever understand, like, the journey that God has taken me on in these few months. Even I myself can't fathom how much, so much has changed mentally, spiritually, and physically. Like, child, I done dropped a lot of pounds. <laughs> but, um god has literally renewed me and transformed me and one thing that i'm grateful for is how constant god has been through the change and i felt like i had to vow that no matter what comes my way like lord you're still going through my focus and it's hard sometimes and i really wanted to commit this to myself and to god that maggie no matter the changes that come that you're still going to love yourself regardless you still die literally and i felt like i needed to commit myself to god and to myself before someone can commit to me before god do you get what i mean i feel like this is the step i needed to make yes ma'am this guy's got a ring per yes have i given you your first ring yeah really yeah, no man it's giving me a ring yeah i'm the first period the first. so none of y'all can take my place yes and um i've actually got a ring before yeah you have Remember? yeah i have <laughs> I've got a ring before, but I feel like this is my first like ring. Like I'm just dedicating to myself, yeah. and I feel like this ring ring can actually mean something because I keep it. Like the other ring, I've got it, but the words weren't kept. While this one, I can actually give this to myself and actually keep it. Yeah. If that makes sense. So, like the reason why I was wanting to get Kende a ring is because if you guys know, like Kende has been through a lot. Like when I look at my friends sometimes, I'm just like, child. Like I don't think you even know how beautiful and destined you are and i wanted to get her a ring for her to also like speak to herself life like speak life into herself sorry um but yes yeah, if she wants if she wants to talk about that she can but i also wanted to just stand in the gap for her that's the vibe um next i only get i just get water and then we can go since we were out you know we're chilling we're like, do you know what can okay, let's take some content like i'm looking real cute you're looking real cute Let's get some content. So yeah, guys, this is from BTS. So guys, oh, the trains even stopping now. Next station, White Chapel. girl. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, yeah, then they still hasn't joined YouTube, but I'm not. I'm gonna. She has my camera. <laughs> now you have a valid reason. But you no, gave it seriously. I actually, I'm going to start next year. Why next year? Okay, let's get into it. The year's coming to an end, and I can't do this whole like fake career. Oh my god, the year's coming to an end, and new year, new me stuff. I'm tired like I've been hearing it for like 10 years and the reason I'm saying 10 years is because before 10 I never used to hear it but like for at least 10 years from when I was in secondary school new year new me new this new why do people wait till the new year to change like people make it seem as if there's a sudden ch shift between the 31st of January sorry the 31st of December to the 1st of January like there isn't like a magical shift the shift that only happens is a, is a shift of choice that's the only thing that changes is your choice deciding that okay i'm not going to do something on the 30th 1st of december but on the 1st of january i'm going to do something that's the only thing that changes your choice is what changes and i think people need to stop putting their choice on certain days and just making sure that their choice is their choice so like if i'm going to do something i'm going to do something irrespective of my circumstance irrespective of the day irrespective of the time and the year it's in like do what you need to do like stop waiting for the new year and let me tell you guys something in order to start the new year strong you have to finish the old one strong your foundation matters like before you step into this new year where things magically change how is the foundation like at least lay the foundation but no y'all want to start foundation building because it's the first month of the year how about foundation build you know sometimes your past makes way for your present but people think no, like I want to just forget about my past and start fresh from the pre fresh from the present. No, your past makes way for the present. And as much as you know, we want to forget our past, it makes us who we are now. So how you finish determines how you start. Okay, I can start like next month. 
Oh, he looks so cute. So guys, you guys are gonna watch the behind the scenes of how I'm taking these pictures, yeah. how can they attempt to take my pictures? Sometimes you act I'm like not you. the best. No, I feel like you were, but you just pretend like you're not. Because the ones you're talking in on holiday were amazing. For people that want to know how to take pictures, one thing you need is a light. Yeah. Do you see the difference? But yeah, guys, that has been all. After we took our pictures, we literally just went home. And yeah, make sure you guys check out our Instagram, show us some love. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video overall. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out Teddy Blake and don't forget to check out Love Let. Everything will be down in the description box below. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.